I really love it kasi nakita ko talaga yung skin ko blooming and then nag medyo lumaki din yung boobs ko. <laughs> yeah, bit gusto gusto ko yon. So Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your Ati again on YouTube, Miss Choi. For today's video, I just want to share with you guys my experience with using contraceptive pills and IUD. Okay, so disclaimer lang, um, this is based on my personal experience. I'm not an expert and also hindi ako obigay. So... Um, if you want to use contraceptive pills, it's better to consult your doctor first. Okay, I know in the Philippines you can buy it over the counter, but it's best para na magconsult kayo sa inyong OB guide para magbigyang kayo ng magandang advice kasi sila yung mas nakakaalam ng ng mga informations regarding this. Okay, but for me, this is just based on my experience. Okay. Let's start with the pills. So, pinakaunang pills na ginamit ko, Diane pills. And as for my experience, the first two years na ginamit ko ng, ng Diane, I really love it kasi nakita ko talaga yung skin ko blooming and then nag, medyo lumaki din yung boobs ko. <laughs> yeah, gusto gusto ko yon. So, medyo lumaki din yung boobs ko noon, ba? For two years, ginamit ko siya. And yung skin ko is blooming then. So the reason why na gumamit ako ng pills actually is like this. Nagpunta ako sa isang dermatologist. Yep, you heard it right. Dermatologist. <laughs> Hindi OB guy. Nagpunta ako sa isang dermatologist and I consulted about my pimples. Hindi naman ganun kalala yung pimples ko. Siguro pinakamarami na yung tatlo. Pero parang nakaka... I'm very irritable kasi... Alam mo yun, parang hindi siya nawawala. <laughs> Tatlo, yun, apat pinakamadami. And then, yun, nag-consult ako. And then, she said, why don't you try to use isotretinoin? And pag gumamit ka ng isotretinoin, hindi ka pwedeng magbuntis. And that's the reason why she gave me a prescription for Diane. So, just to make sure na hindi ako magbuntis, nag-pills ako, contraceptive pills. Yun nga. And then, so, natapos ko yung dosage ng isotretinoin, and then kinontinue ko yung Diane pills kasi sobrang ganda ng effect niya. Ka, uh, ano ba yung nasa Diane? Bakit maganda yung effect niya? So, yung Diane pills, um, it's a combination of the birth control pills and also yung nagbabalance ng male hormones na tinatawag. So, yun yung nakikipaglaban. So, yung Diane pills, hindi lang siya para sa birth control, it's also to make your skin glow para labanan yung male hormones. Kaya yun yung naging e epekto ng Diane pills sa ating mga babae. Ayan. So yun na nga, after two years, in-stop ko yung Diane kasi I met my husband. And yun. So nagbuntis ako and then after ko nagbuntis, nanganak, after ko manganak, yung OB ko, niresetahan ako ng ibang pills which is stop me kasi I was breast feeding that time. So, nung nagpapa-breastfeed ako, dapni yung gamit ko, and I noticed yung skin ko parang sobrang dry, and then ang dami kong pimples, sobrang dami kong pimples, and then I lost a lot of weight. Imagine, 43 kilograms for my height. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And then, yeah, so, parang feeling ko sobrang dry na dry na yung katawan ko, parang tuyot na tuyot na ako that time. Um, nag-consult ulit ako sa OB ko and then sabi ko sa kanya baka pwede na ako mag-change ng pill mag-stop na ako ng breastfeeding so I go back to Diane Pills and nagpunta ko ulit sa isang dermatologist and then I ask her kung pwede ako ulit mag-take ng isotretinoin and then yun, nag-take ulit ako ng isotretinoin and then Diane Pills so yung comparison from the first time na gumamit ako ng Diane Pills to the second time is Yung second time, medyo matagal. So, it's like six months bago ko na-notice yung skin ko nag-clear out. Okay? Kasi yung first time kung gumamit lang, like one month lang, parang nag-glow na agad yung skin ko, yung pimples ko, parang nawala na agad. Naubos na lahat siya after one month lang. Pero nung second time, took me about five to six months bago ko ma-notice yung talagang difference na as in wala ng pimples. Yun. So, 
second time and then hanggang sa after 2-3 years na notice ko na yung side effect na migraine. So every month uh, before my period or during my period meron akong migraine. So sobrang sakit ng ulo ko. Like na experience ko, ko siya every month. And then yun, pero tinuloy ko pa rin siya. Tiis ganda. <laughs> Dahil gusto ko yung effect ng daya na glowing ka, wala kang pimples. Yun. So, and then, um, 2018, last year, nag-decide yung husband ko na bumalik na sa Australia. So, nakahanap na siya ng work dito. And then, I decided to stop using the pills na kasi parang sobrang hindi ko na kaya, hindi na kaya ng, ng katawan ko yung, yung migraine. <laughs> Ayun, nag-stop ako ng pills and then after two months, na-notice ko nagbabalikan yung pimples ko. So, natakot ako. <laughs> Nag-pills ulit ako. Bumalik ako ng pills pero um, this time, nag-iba ko ng pills. Sinubukan ko yung Altea. So, nag-try ako ng Altea and walang nabago. So, bumalik yung migraine ko. Uh, yeah, so parang feeling ko mas malala kasi may mga times na talagang hindi na ako makabangon o kaya sumusuka na ako sa sobrang sakit ng ulo ko yun and then nag-consult na ako sa ob ko and then she said why don't you try yes kasi yung yes daw mas mababa yung dosage compare sa Altea and then sa Dayan kasi yung Dayan at Altea almost the same pero yung yes mas mababa daw so yun gumamit ako ng yes Um, merong time na wala akong migraine pero meron pa rin time na may migraine ako at sobrang sakit pa rin na tipong talagang sumusuka ako sa sobrang sakit ng, ng ulo ko. May, may time din na hindi ako makabagon. Yun. So, tiis ganda pa rin. Sige pa rin. <laughs> Kasi parang kumaga once a month lang siya or twice a month. Ganun. So, tiniis ko pa rin para mawala yung pimples ko, matanggal yung pimples ko. And then, yun. So, recently lang ako nag-stop gumamit ng YAS kasi I decided to use IUD. Kasi before ako nagpa-implant ng IUD or they call it here, Myrina, nag-research ako. So, madami ako nakita ng positive feedback regarding Myrina. Sabi ng iba, it's the best decision they've made down. So, sabi doon ng iba, right after ginamit nila yung Myrina, na wala na agad yung, yung migraine nila. So, yun. Nag-decide ako na magpa-implant na na ng, ng IUD. And siguro, eto lang yung mangyayari. Kasi, my time or merong instances na kapag nagpa-implant ka ng IUD, yung body, hindi niya ina-absorb yung foreign object dun sa katawan. So, may tendency na i-push ng body mo yung IUD, push it out, and my time na talagang hindi nila ina-accept yung, yung object. So, for me, I'm hoping, 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 crossing my finger na sana i-absorb ng body ko yung IUD para tuloy-tuloy na siya because it's good for five years, right? So, diba? It's just amazing. Um, insert nila yon good for five years, parang hindi ka na magkakaroon ng period for for five years. <laughs> meron, minsan daw meron mga spotting, pero... For five years, wala kang period, just imagine, ba? Diba? And then also, yung IUD na may rena, it also secretes hormones. Kaya sabi nila, it's also good for your body daw and for your skin na din. Um, yun. So, yun yung reason kung bakit nag-decide ako na gumamit or magpa-implant ng IUD. Yun. So, when it comes to the pricing... Um, ang Dayan, if I'm not mistaken, it's about like 900 pesos. Yung Altea, mas mura. Pinakamahal yung Yas. Yun. So, yung Yas, I think it's like about a thousand pesos. Sa Philippines, dito sa Australia, iba yung pricing nila. And then, yung Myrina naman dito sa Australia, I'm not sure, sure if there's Myrina in the Philippines, but in Australia, here in Australia, yung Myrina, eh, Um, depende kasi yung price niya. Kapag may Medicare ka, sobrang mababa lang yung presyo. Pero pag wala kang Medicare, sobrang taas ng presyo. Yun. So, you need to pay the regular price kapag wala kang Medicare. Pag may Medicare ka naman, sobrang mura lang niya. Like 43 or 49 Australian dollar. Diba? Compare sa 
um, I think yung regular price niya is like $500. Yeah. And then, yung procedure niya. So, dito sa Australia, hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta pumunta na lang sa isang um, ubigan. So, kailangan mo pang mag-consult muna sa isang GP, humingi ng recommendation, and then, saka ka pala makakapunta ng ubigan. Yun. So, it took me like three three months bago ko nakapagpa-IUD kasi nga yung schedule. So, for example, tumawag ako ngayon, yung schedule ko to meet the ob is next month pa. So, like after a month pa, bago ko siya ma-meet. Yun. So, ayun na nga, ang procedure niya, it's either, you can choose um, either theater or sa clinic lang nung mismong ob So, pag sa theater, I think papatulugin ka nila med- merong ibibigay sa iyo na uh, anesthesia so papatulugin ka nila i-insert habang ini-insert sa iyo yung yung IUD tulog ka yon and then also it's much more expensive din um pag sa theater 600 Australian dollar kapag sa clinic lang 200 dollars so i chose the 200 dollars kasi sobrang laki ng matitipid ko 400 dollars di ba ang laki noon and then nung tumawag ako sabi sa akin ng assistant ng OB guy na i need to take two advil and then two paracetamol and i think it's because of the pain um, but for me, since nakalimutan ko na yung schedule ko, hindi ako nakagising ng maaga. And I don't eat breakfast every morning. So, hindi ako nakapag-take ng dalawang Advil at dalawang paracetamol. Um, I've only took one ibuprofen. And then, kumain lang ako ng energy bar. And then, yun. So, para sa akin, when it comes to the pain, kasi siguro mataas yung yung tolerance ko ng pain, wala ako masyadong naramdamang pain except yung procedure ng pap smear. ba sa pap smear, may papasok, tapos i-open nila, and then, yun. Yun lang yung pain na naramdaman ko. Kasi, nag-pap smear din ako before in-insert yung IUD. Yun. So, yun lang yung pain na naramdaman ko. And for me, it's not that painful. Um, it's tolerable. Yan. So, after noon, um, nag-rest muna ako siguro mga 5 minutes and then after doon, bango na and then parang walang nangyari <laughs> yun, so yung, yung husband ko yung nag-drive, we went back home and occasionally nararamdaman ko feeling a little bit of pain, abdominal pain pero tolerable din siya so usually, I just sit down and relax for a bit and then when it's gone, ayun active na naman ako and siguro um, na-notice ko lang na kapag sobrang active ko, lakad dito, lakad doon, uh, sa so sobrang daming ginagawa, cleaning, cooking, and all that inside the house. Yun, kapag sobrang active ko, doon ko nararamdaman yung abdominal pain. And nagra-relax lang ako. Pag hindi ko kaya yung sakit, yun, nag-take ako ng ibuprofen. Especially kapag I need to go outside, pick up my son from school. Yun. So, yun lang. Meron ding mga instances na um, nagigising ako in the middle of the night and I could feel the pain. Pero sabi naman ng ubi gan ko, it's normal. Kasi nga, ba? Yung IUD is a foreign object inside your body. So your body tends to push it out. So yun yung reason kung bakit may mga cases na hindi inaabsorb ng katawan tapos push away yung IUD. So, I'm hoping na i-absorb siya ng body ko. Parang kinakausap ko yung body ko every night. Tapos sabi ko, please, 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 ayoko na mag-peel so ulit. Ang sakit na ng ulo ko. Sobrang sakit ng ulo ko sa migraine. Yun. Yun. So, I think sa Philippines, kasi na-ask ko din yung about sa IUD. And I think sa Philippines, ang ginagamit is yung copper. And pwede din siya makuha sa health center. And if I'm not mistaken, it's good for 10 years. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy Myrina in the Philippines or internationally. And then, you know, pwede niyong kausapin yung ubigay niyo na kung pwede yung umorder ng Myrina somewhere or international. And then yun yung gamitin niyo. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's possible. Yun. So, yun lang yung experience ko. And then, after six months, so, nakaka-one week pa lang sa akin yung IUD. So, five months, 
I need to go back to my OB-GYN para ma-check niya kung it, if it's properly intact, if it's in place. May mga bawal lang. Siyempre, bawal ang contact with my husband. Bawal mag-tampons. Um, bawal mga exercises. You know, so relax ka lang muna for the six months, period of six months. So, hindi muna ako pwedeng mag-exercise for six months para ma-absorb ng body ko yung, yung IUD. Yeah. So, yun. Um, um, I-discuss ko na. So, again, guys, this is just based on my personal experience. And if you're thinking to take contraceptive pills or IUD, it's better pa din na to consult your doctor, your ob -GYN. Kasi sila yung mas nakakaalam kung ano yung magmamatch sa inyo. But I swear, kapag nararamdaman nyo na talaga yung migraine, I think it's time for you to switch to a different contraceptive. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please do hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye.